Welcome back to the basement yard. What's up, Danny? What up, y'all? What's going on? I'm just living life. Yeah. Doing my thing. With that shaved ass face. I know. I look like a Puerto Rican baby's butt cheeks. Kind of. Oh, yeah. You got anything for what me? What happened? What happened to it? Uh, I went to the barber that I usually go to. Yeah. I enjoy him. He's a nice guy. Of course. Usually cuts my hair pretty well. Uh-huh. Um, decided to give me a shape up of my beard and my goatee and uh, basically made me look like I was bad and clean up. For like the Boston Red Sox. I looked like David Ortiz. Nice. So it was like straight here, straight here. Everything was a box. It looked like there was a little box on my face. And I just didn't like the way it looked. Like Lynn Manuel, what's his name? Lynn when Lynn Manuel Miranda. That's one. Yeah, but worse. Right. Like it was super straight. I looked like Robinson Cano. All right. You know, like he has like the thing like perfect like that. Yeah. Not for me. He's still batting 300 though. Yeah, 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 yeah. But when he did it. Um, I have to take my glasses off when I go and get a haircut. Oh, so you couldn't really see? So I couldn't really <laughs> see. That's the problem, bro. I know. You got to bring your contacts. I know. And uh, I was as soon as it was done, I put my glasses on. I was like, oh, oh no. no. <laughs> yeah. And then um, he was just like, oh, what's wrong? What's wrong? He's like this nice Russian guy. Um, I was like, dude, like, you, you fucked my shit up. Zeked me. Yeah, you fucked my shit up. And he was like, what do you mean? What do you mean? I was like, yo, this is mad straight. I've never had it this straight. Like, fuck, fuck my shit up, man. I was like, I'm still going to pay you. But like, I don't know. This this is a fireable so offense. You, so you broke up with your barber. Yeah, I did. Damn. I did. I did. And it's been like a good like six months, seven months with him. Ooh. Yeah. It's a pretty decent relationship. Yeah. Like, it was, it was good. I actually like him. He goes out of his way to get me in the chair over other people. I'm cool with it. But this was a fireable offense. <laughs> you can't do that. Yeah. That's the one thing, girls, you have to know. It's the one th- thing guys really do care about is our fucking haircuts and the way our beards look and shit. Yeah. I, Whoa, I'm cracking out here. Yeah! Yeah, yeah! My fucking beard. Yeah, I care about it. Yeah, but now but now I think I'm just going to grow my beard out for mad long. Like you're six, just going to force gump it? Yeah, like six months, seven months. All right. I like that. And bring it, let it bush out. Yeah. Because this, this isn't working. That's not great. No, no, I don't like it. No. I don't like you without facial hair. I feel like it makes me look ugly. No, not ugly. It takes away, it takes, I feel like also though, it makes my face look less fat when I have a beard. Yeah. You know what it I'm saying? It adds some shape to it. It adds some shape to it. So it kind of like brings out my, my jawline. You just look a little uncircumcised is all. That's what it is. But it's fine. Yeah. You know? Did you know, did you see that there's a Netflix special on the American circumcision? What the fuck is that? I don't know, but I might have to check it out. Why? Because it, it's it's about like circumcising babies, but but not religiously affiliated circumcisions. Like just because you want your kid to be snipped. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yes. But uh, so like, wait, isn't it only Jewish people who like do it religiously, or is that or am I way off? No, no. I think um, I think a lot, do Catholics do it too? Yeah. I think Catholics, all Catholics do it too. Well, I'm circum. I'm, I got cut the yeah, fuck up. I got to shape up. Yeah, you got But line, it wasn't because of God up. and like... No, it's because your mom didn't want you to have a weird dick. I don't or know. it's I the don't, norm. Like, I why? never... That's a weird conversation to ask. I know. I should call my mom right now. Like, why'd you circumcise me? Yeah, you should. At, at some point, ask her. Should I just call her now? Yeah, call all her right, now. All right, cool. I'm going to call her now. Get yeah, my but, phone. No, because <laughs> my brother got circumcised and my mom saw how painful it was, like what he went through. And we, we, I didn't get circumcised. I mean, you're a baby. I'm glad you did it then, and not like you know, yeah. six months ago. But she was just like, I don't, I don't want, I don't want to see him go through that pain. This is gonna be fantastic. I hope yeah. she answers. Yeah, I hope she, she's gonna answer. I think. What time is it? Yeah, she should be out of work. <laughs> oh my god, this is intense. It is intense. I think she'll have a good reason. I don't think she will. Probably not. She's like, because your brothers are. Yeah, hey, you know, because, you know, it's a thing. It's we a thing. did it, though. What's she doing? Ma, pick up your phone. What if I was dying and my mom's not picking up my phone? You never notice they never pick up. You have reached the voice. Unbelievable. You know right. what it is? My mom doesn't care about me. No, she That's does. That's what it is. She does. She'll call back. She'll she call cut back. my penis off when I was younger. It's true. And now she's not picking up my phone call. She'll call back. She'll call back. She's not going to call back. But anyway, we'll we'll get to that. Yeah, if she we'll, does, if she she does, does call, call me back, back, we'll jump right back in. We'll jump right back into that. But. Um, anyway, before we move forward, I just want to shout out our Patreon. If you guys want to support the show and thank you to everyone who's been, uh, supporting the show. We got a lot of new people since yeah. last week. 
Um, we just got over 700 for the first time. For the first time, yeah. yeah. And our Patreon is basically where you can sign up and get uh, bonus episodes and you know extra content. We do a bi-weekly segment called uh, What the Fuck Does Patreon Want? Uh, where we answer questions that people send in. So go check it out. It's patreon.com slash thebasementyard. Patreon spelled P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash thebasementyard. Um, and there's extra episodes every month as well. Yes. Um, Exclusive episodes that nobody else in the world can see unless you are a patron. So yeah, there's that too. I bet my mom's not a patron because she doesn't. She, first she cuts my dick. Then she doesn't support our Patreon. Then she doesn't pick up my phone call and hasn't called me back. And it's been over 40 seconds. I would, te- I would text her and be like, you need, I, please call me back. No, no, I'm not going to do that. She would get so scared. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You'll and get then she'd call. get pissed. She'd be like, you call me about you your get fucking pissed? penis. What do you think's the reason why she did it? I, I Is Thomas? Think, I don't. Uh, I don't. I feel like I should know that. Yeah, you should know. If I think we all are. Yeah. So it was probably just a family thing. Yeah, it was just a tradition. Yeah. All right, but I want to know the beginning of the tradition. Like, why did we start doing it? Probably because it was the norm. You know. I feel, I feel like there's a there's a bad, like cloud over uncircumcised dicks. I don't get it. I don't. I mean, it's not a cloud. I don't think anyone care. I mean, no, they care. And not not my cup of tea. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If I had if I had to go that route, if I had to go down the dick route, you know. See, I don't know if I'm gonna. Wanna... I'm a neat guy though. I, I like know. I like organization. Right, so right. it looks a little neater. It looks like you organized. I'm a little more of a wild card. It fits my personality more for sure. Yeah. You know. You know. I mean? You don't. You don't mind. You know. A little bit of clutter. No. 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 It's fine. Exactly. It keeps me warm. Warmer in the in, in the sun in the winter. Does and then, it? Yeah. 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 You're warmer. No. Oh. They do say that if you're uncircumcised, you have more pleasurable orgasms. That's but... true. Is that really true? I, I believe it is. Like, there's more nerve endings in the uh, skin or no, whatever. No wonder. I so, cool that you get to... Uh, my, I guess. So I just never looked at it as something like... To, like... I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm uncircumcised. But, like, I've never, I've never looked at it as something that, like, was judgeable. Uh, what? I feel like people, like, make fun of people for being uncircumcised. Oh, I don't think so. I honestly think... No one really cares. Like it's easy to make a joke about it because yeah. it's like Haha, that thing is a little strange. It's a little weird looking, you know. But wait, I think there's more uncircumcised people in the world, so maybe I'm strange. Yeah, probably. Right? Probably. Now I want to watch that documentary, but do I really want to watch a long documentary about penis? I don't know. And I don't. I'd be weirded out if it was about baby penis. Yeah. That's way too much time to. I'll watch a YouTube video, but I'm not going to watch a documentary about it. For sure. It, you know? For sure. YouTube documentary all the way. You know they like sell... Like 25 minutes? Yeah, I don't know. Of baby dick? You know they sell circumcision practice kits on Amazon? Yeah. What are you practicing on? Toys? Like like a rubber I guess you baby gotta learn. dick. I, I guess you got to learn how to do it. Yeah, I mean, I, w- I would think that they keep that confined in the walls of a school or something, not just on Amazon for the world to purchase. I wonder, like, does a rabbi cut your penis? Yeah, right? <laughs> rabbi didn't cut my penis. No, no, no. But, like, if you're Jewish, does a rabbi snip your peen peen? I don't know. I've heard I've heard some things. I got a text. Not from my mom. Damn. Fuck. Um, no, I've, I've heard some things about, um, you know, rabbis sucking penises of babies shut your fucking mouth and listen this isn't um, this is a, a religious practice that they do <laughs> no pun intended what'd you say i said shut your fucking mouth yeah no <laughs> um so they they like this they, is not this doesn't happen every single time obviously but did they do it to like get it to stop bleeding or something yes it says the process has the his mouth directly on the circumcision wound to draw blood away from the cut Sucking baby peen peen? I don't know if this is something that they like. I don't want to. Yo, listen, I really I'm don't want to go. Suck, if someone's gonna suck my baby's peen peen, I'm good, son. I'm, listen, I am not going. I'm. I'm just saying it's a thing. Right. I don't know if it's something that still happens. And the, and the story. I'm not gonna represent the entire Jewish community because I don't know. Right. But I know that it happened at some point. In that religion, but there's listen, a pra- maybe like the uh, like the highest level of like the super religious people are doing it. I don't know, but uh, hey, you know, uh, that's too much. I'm just saying. But I'm just saying it's a little much. It's a little much. It's a little, little much for me. If I cut my finger, oh yeah, let's let's keep that's that's it. I'm not even a fan of that. It's also my mouth. 
Yeah. I don't want an old rabbi's penis on my boy's peen peen. Uh, I don't uh, want to say that. It's I don't right. know why I said it. It's all right. I'm in trouble. You're not doing anything wrong. It's, I know. Tr- it's a fact. Yeah. I mean, let's. Dude, if we go back to our fucking ancestors, they were all having sex with pages. What? We're Italian. Pages? Yeah, they would have little boys that go around and do do chores for them and have orgies with them. What are pages? Like a page. They Like a messenger. Bro, I was thinking pages like with no, fucking no. books. <laughs> Like, what do you mean we're fucking books? No, you never like, uh, you never did like a model UN in like growing up. Pages. Yeah, like pages. They the little messenger boys. No, yeah, I mean, yo, little boys were getting. Why are little boys so sought after? I don't know. This guy's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it doesn't make sense to me. I just, I, I, I don't see. I could not probably. If you go back to the bit, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's cool. If you go back into the history, 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 yes. history books, disgusting stuff. It's all about just like pound little boys BHs. I know. Why is that happening? I don't. So much? I don't know. It's my least favorite group. It is. No, like no lie. Yeah. You know, little boys are annoying. Yeah. Let, let, I want you as far away from me as possible. Like, You're an asshole. So you can borrow your phone. Do you have games? Get the fuck out of here, you loser. Yeah. I know. Give them a noogie and send them on their way. Yeah. Babies and, are great. Babies are great. You know. Fucking people our age are kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> old people are hilarious. But little boys. You think old people get, like, the past to be, like, racist and stuff because they're old? I don't think they should, but they do. But they do. do, right? You know what it is? They don't like, get oh, the... there's a lot of Mexicans around here. Everyone... I'm like, all right, Nana. <laughs> okay. Take it easy. You know what's funny? Everyone has, like grandparents that are like just so racist and have no idea it's insane. i never did though like my my grandparents my grandma was like super irish and my other grandparents all my grandparents are dead by the way so right you can't go looking for them uh <laughs> if you want to get mad at them but no they 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 were never have never said anything like that but i have been around my friends grandparents and they just say stuff and i'm like I gotta go. I gotta go to the bathroom. Yeah, I, know. Like, I just want to get out of here. I can't. Do you know when I was a kid, it was all white people here. Now there's so many Mexicans around. I'm like, Grandma, <laughs> so stop, 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 stop. Shush. I remember I showed my grandma. Put the crown royal down. <laughs> yeah, right. I just feel like <laughs> they get a pa- and they don't even know what they're saying. Yeah, I'm like, know. what? I don't, I don't know. Dude, old people can crush alcohol too. You they ever could notice also, that? They could also. I feel like old people could crush you to the core. Like they could, like they can make you feel so bad about yourself. No. Yeah. No, not one old person ever has made me feel like. No. no well, uh, were you around your grandparents a lot? My grandma, she lived like over here, so yeah. I, I, she would babysit us. She wouldn't crush. They would never crush my soul, but they would crush like my like my parents' souls. I've crushed her soul. I've lied to her a lot. Have you ever lied and said your grandma was dead when she wasn't? No, but I did say she fell down. <laughs> I was at work, bro. I used to call out of work when I worked at this pizzeria over here. Yeah. Uh, I used to call out of work like an hour before just because it was a gorgeous day out and everyone was at the park playing basketball. I'm like, bro, I'm not going. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, fuck that. But yo, I can't come in. And I would just have like excuses. And I remember this one time I was at work, bro. I was there. And it was like a slow night. I'm like, yo, I'm wasting my time here and like whatever. So, so I just like rushed in. When I came back from a delivery, can you do it? Can you do it for us now? I probably not without laughing because right. it's so all right, ridiculous. All right, try, try. I had to, I had to <laughs> get in the character for a second. I had to hype myself up, like you know, yeah. like get a little jog in, so you right. get like your blood pumping. You I'm just... the I'm the boss. I'm making pizza. <laughs> Got a delivery boy out there now. Come in here and tell me about your grandma falling down. Come on. I actually didn't do it too frantically. Right. You if know? it's too frantic, it's fake. Yeah, because if it's too frantic, you're like, can you look, can you st- you're freaking me out of here. It's like Need it in the pizza. Yeah, that's better. This looks like you're like rubbing the table's nipples or something. Um, <laughs> no, but I just walked in. I was like, yo, Ralph, I really got to go right now. I was like, my grandma just fell down and she needs me to like help her out. My mom and my dad are like not around to like do whatever. So I just got to go. And I just like, yo, I got, I like, I, I just kept what being did, like, yo, I got to, I'm like, I'm leaving. What did he say? I didn't like leave it up to him. Cause I feel like if you if you if you leave it up to them, then it's like, why are you even asking me? Yeah. I told him like, yo, I have to go. Like I'm leaving because yeah. my grandma fell. And That's then I just, and then I and then went home. That was pretty convincing. No, I didn't even like really do it. That was good. Oh, all right. I, w- I would have bought that. Oh, I'm a methodical liar. Like, oh, get out of here. Go for it. Go get your grandma. <laughs> yeah, no, but 
never told her that. But one of my friends, Marco, he's, you, like, he's you, like, yo, I've killed numerous, like, grandmas. Grandmas. Yeah, like, yeah, grandpas. yeah. I've got aunts and uncles who have been dead for years. <laughs> over and over and over again. <laughs> nah, I, I don't like doing that. I also, like, I love when people are like, oh, don't say that. I'm like, what? Like, I have the power to strike someone dead because yeah. I joked around. Give me a break. Uh, this person that's 70 years older than me is going to die soon. What a fucking, uh, you know, that's my fault. <laughs> yeah. This person's 87 years old. Yeah. Yo, my grandma, she was an absolute animal. Got after it? Yeah. She lived all the way down here. She would walk to the supermarket that was like on Dittmar's. Old people love to walk. And, you know, she has so much pride. Yeah. I'm like, just get on the bus, dude. No. And she's just trekking it. There was one time she came to, to babysit us and there was a crack in like the sidewalk and she had fell and fucked up her chin. Meat was hanging, bro. Oh. And the yeah. a bus driver was driving my pulled over the bus and was like helping her. She got into our house and she, and she just took a napkin. I was just like, all right, what are you guys doing? Just held it on her chin. Nothing. Didn't go to the hospital. No. She was, her face was bruised for like five years or whatever. If you've seen like a world war, you're getting over a meaty chin. Yeah. You're getting over that. Meanwhile, if I fuck up my chin, I'll be crying. I'm like, leave. I got to go. I got to go get stitches. Have you ever got stitches? Yeah. I got stitches once. I got stitches a couple of times. Yeah. Where? That's not a fun thing. What? Where? Well, I've gotten my mouth. Inside your mouth? Like yeah, and then I, I got on my foot because I had, uh, when I was younger, I dropped a, ro- a boulder on my foot, and my nail like went into my toe and like Ugh. stood up like that. Yeah. Why'd you drop a boulder on your foot? No one does it like, all right, this is, all right, sick, pow. No, but I'm saying, how, how kind how? of. I was, at, I was in Jersey at my, at my uh, cousin's house, and I dropped it on my foot by accident. I was like picking it up. My mom's calling me. Oh, here we go. Hello? Hello? Yeah, hi. Uh, Ma, so I'm on the podcast right now, and I'm just wondering, what was the reason why you circumcised me? <laughs> oh, God. I just got out of the dentist. I'm dumb, and I can't even talk. What? <laughs> she got out of the dentist. I just walked out of the dentist's office. You're not going to um, get off I that can't... easy. I need to know. <laughs> uh, I wanted you to look like your father. <laughs> See? I told you. <laughs> I told you. I told you. <laughs> I wanted you to look like your father. That's great. It's and, and it's a family thing. They want everyone's penis to look the same. I guess so. Uh, uh, also, I heard that you know it was it was a good thing for you know hygiene and that kind of thing. Yeah. All right. I appreciate that. That's why she felt bad when she saw. Yeah. Okay. Did you did you did you watch the procedure? No way. <laughs> oh, did you let them I take me to a back room and mutilate <laughs> your child? Yeah. <laughs> I was praying for you, though. <laughs> I appreciate it, Mom. Were, were you at the dentist? You got your tooth, uh, something? Oh, my God. I'm so numb. I won't be able to speak for days. All right. You hear me? I sound like an idiot. Yeah, you do. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, cool. Thank you. I appreciate it, Ma. I just need to all know. All right, honey. I love you. Bye. I love you, too. <laughs> See, told you. It's a family thing. That's my mom. That's it. That was great. Yeah, my mom's another one. She's she's a she's a savage too. But like, has you would have no idea. Like when you meet her, she's like, all right, she's this woman who's like a nice woman, like whatever. But there's been times where people like, she she would be home with all of us, and when we were babies, and she'll call my dad and be like, Joe, I think someone's breaking into the house. And he's like, what? And he's like, he was a fireman. So he was like, you know, out doing whatever. He was at the firehouse. And she's like, yeah, I think someone's breaking in the house. And he's like, all right. She goes, I'm going to go see. Hangs up on him. And he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> he's like, what is this woman doing? And she just goes downstairs. She might have been pregnant with me. Like, she's nuts. Who's in here? Yeah. What, what are you doing, Donnie? What are you doing? You know this isn't your house. You no, know, old, old people have no fear. It's weird. They're fearless. It's wild. Like, my dad will, like, do, like, electrical shit around the house not even an electrician i'm like what are you doing <laughs> i'll figure it yeah, out yeah i'm like what are you doing yo my dad once was cooking just being like my dad always sings when he when he cooks he's like I'm not here. All I was, ah! yo he cut his finger this thing was like hanging off mm-hmm. didn't even go to the hospital no, just wrapped not. it in a towel and kept cooking yeah and the towel was fucking soaked with blood I was like, Dad, you have to go to the hospital. He's like, I'm not, I'm not doing it. Yeah. 
He's like, they're just going to do what? It's going to heal on its own. It took like seven months for it to stop bleeding. <laughs> it would constantly reopen. His finger was all fucked up. Yeah. I was like, dad, what are you doing? I know. My, my dad, I told you when he had his heart attack, he like didn't want to go to the hospital. He was like, no, I'm good. I was like, dad, no, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> what? It's over. The heart attack's over. No, fine. No. Someone gave him like a nitroglycerin tablet or whatever. It's like supposed to like save you or whatever. And he was like, no, I'm good. And they were like, no. <laughs> <laughs> they fucking airlifted him over there. Dude. Yeah, the parents, that parents are you know, gangsters. You know what it is? It's not parents. It's that generation and older. Yeah. You know, because they didn't really have a lot of shit and they had to be crafty and self sufficient and like whatever. We're a couple of fucking pussies, dude. Yeah, yeah, I know. But do you think that we have more or less to worry about? Like on a daily basis than they did? Way more. It was a way simpler time. Well, back yeah, then. no, your children are way more susceptible to bad things. Yeah. Because back then you had, what'd you have? Polio? And, you know... I don't think they had polio. No. I don't know. <laughs> Are you going to vaccinate your kids? We're opening up lots of boxes today. Oh, yeah. This is going to be a controversial... I think so. I'm going to vaccinate my... What, are you nuts? Wait. I don't want my kid getting chicken pox and fucking... Oh, no, they're supposed to get chicken pox. And small... I mean, smallpox oh, and yeah. fucking... Polio. Polio. <laughs> yeah. Wait, why... Do, they wanna... say you don't vaccinate your kids because it, it gives them Down syndrome or something? They said they could lead to, like... Autism and like shit like Autism, that. Autism, that was the one. Yeah, I. Uh, some say there's studies behind it. Some say they don't. I don't have any in front of me. All I know is I don't want my kid to catch polio. Yeah. So we're gonna do that. Yeah. You know, probably. You gonna, know, probably, probably gonna, gonna vaccinate the kid. Probably gonna vaccinate the kid. Yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot wait to see what these comments look like. I think we got to the point where we don't care that much. I, I hope that, yo, you know what's crazy, too, because I feel like we say a lot of shit on this show. Yeah. And, and and people, like, for the most part, get that we're just joking and being idiots and, like, you know, whatever, just trying to be funny. But some people, like, don't. <laughs> Did you see how many we got for, like, the do not resuscitate thing? You know how many inboxes I got? DMs of, like, from nurses? Being like, all right, here's a breakdown. This is how we do this. All right. Like, I don't mind I that. Was like, I was like, yeah, I, I, but they were like, it really like bothers me like of uh, your lack of knowledge on this topic. I was yeah. like, never claim to be a genius. Yeah. Never claim to be an expert. This is a show with two idiots. Yeah. If, if you you're coming know, here for like DNR information, wrong place. Frankie once said he could beat up an alligator with his bare hands. On this show. Okay. What are you expecting to look? Nothing. You are going to be dumber yeah. after listening to this episode, but you're going to laugh. Yeah. That's the trade-off. All right. You're going to laugh. Going to be dumber, though. Yeah. You know? That's oh. what's going to happen. What a fucking shocking story. Two guys with barely high school educations <laughs> get scientific fact wrong. <laughs> oh, my God. What, what a surprise. Yeah. What a Shocker. surprise that is. Shocker. That is so fucking funny. What was I just about People to guess? People worried about that. The fucking government shutdown. You're giving me all this shit. Recession is going to hit in the summer. I don't even know what that means. What? Government shutdown. Yeah, I don't know either. Was it a strike? I, I thought everything was free. I, I, I was walking around and I was like, do I even pay for this? <laughs> the government's like, uh, yeah, no, we're done. <laughs> it's like, no, you don't. You're, you don't done. No, you, you don't, don't. Done. The government is not allowed to done. Isn't it, okay. Isn't that weird? It's like the government shuts down. Isn't like almost tax season too? <laughs> I don't have to pay. I don't know what to do. Do Why I not pay? I gotta listen. I gotta pay the government when they're shut down. I'm paying them for days off now. If I'm in Home Depot and all the cashiers leave, everything's free. Yeah. All right. All right. It's like, come on. I'm taking all the the wood. <laughs> the word government shutdown is way scarier than it actually is. I feel like. I. I don't even like I, like you said. I don't know how to even explain that when someone's like, "Oh, you know about the government shutdown?" I'm like, I, "I mean, I've heard of it, but I haven't seen any of it." You know? <laughs> and does someone just go and like grab a lever and just like <laughs> <laughs> all the lights go out and the fucking the White House is run on generators now? Yeah, oh, it's like candle it. Yeah, fucking speaking of the White House, I feel like I should know a little more about anything. Yeah, you know, um, we but, should definitely know more about the government shutdown about stuff. Yeah, did you, speaking of that, did you see how um, the Clemson Tigers, the, the football team, they won the national championship, so they they went to the White House, and usually there's like a nice meal and this whole thing, and everyone's wearing suits, and Trump tweeted that 
you know, since because of the shutdown, yeah. I guess there wasn't any. All the chefs were like, well, I'm out now. So apparently government shutdown means there's no food in the White House because he bought a thousand hamburgers or how he, he called them hand dirgers. What do you call them? Ham birders. Ham birders. Ham birders. He couldn't spell hamburgers. He's like, I got everyone a thousand ham birders. They're the best kinds. I got them four different places. The best ham birders. The best American, American, American ham birders. Not China. Made in the United <laughs> States. Made in the U.S. of A. Ham birders. <laughs> He bought a thousand hamburgers and then he wrote in parentheses, I, I paid. <laughs> Bro, you're the president. You spent a thousand dollars. It wasn't cheap, but let, guess what? I bought everything. Each was a dollar. Most goes, people could afford a thousand hamburgers if yeah. they wanted. Dude, like I've seen YouTubers buy a thousand hamburgers and just give them out. Yeah. This guy's like, he wants credit for buying a thousand hamburgers. I love that. Fast he- food. I love that he took the picture with all the food with that shit-eating grin of his by himself. Just like, what a scumbag this guy is. It's like, yo, you had a guest coming to the White House. His five-star hotel is fucking down the road. Like, he's trolling the government by doing that. He has to be. Go Tigers. Listen, government shut down. I got you some McDonald's Big Macs. He said he he bought a thousand hamburgers, right? Thousand hamburgers. And then, <laughs> and then he goes, and it was all gone in like 15 minutes. They're big eaters. Love the tigers. <laughs> Come on. What do the tigers want? What do tigers eat? Hamburgers. I knew they were going to love them, sir. <laughs> the president bought. Ha- the president. What, is this a sleepover? The president. <laughs> what, did you pick the kids up after school? What, did you pick them up in a bus and brought them there? At 3 a.m., you just left a bar with the whole football team. You, you guys are drunk as hell. Hey, what do you guys say we go back to my place? I'll get Big White ha- Castle. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get, get a couple of crazy cases. Call it a night. Get, get some hamburgers in. It's be a great night. The only thing missing from that picture was like five hookahs. Why was the team not in the picture? I don't know. There was a, there was a picture. There was though, a picture with the team where the, there was like it was like a buffet, bro. If I was on that team, I'd be fucking dying laughing. Like, yo, we're in the White House. I know. Like eating Wendy's. The president <laughs> sleep here, and we're eating Wendy's. No one could go get anything. No one. No one in this building. Send the maid. He had he had McDonald's there. He had Wendy's there, which if I'm going to a tray. Well, if you show up and there's there's fast food at the White House. First of all, all bets are off. I'm like shotgunning a beer in the Oval Office, yeah. if that's the case. Yeah. If there's fast food around, I'm shotgunning a beer in Dude, the Oval Office. Dude, I'm drinking out of like Abraham Lincoln's pipe. Like yeah. I'm doing like mad shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 100%. I'm, you know, I'm doing a whole lot of weird shit. Yeah. If you brought me here to eat fast food... I want to see where Monica Lewinsky blew Bill Clinton. Right. You know, I want to go in that closet where the dress was. I want to see everything. Right. I want to smoke the cigar that he shoved up her snooze. Wait, what? He put a cigar up her snooze. Which one? Who? Bill Clinton. Oh, he did that? Yeah, Monica Lewinsky. Sharing a cigar with her puss? No, he just gave, gave, her, the, gave her the business with it. There you go. <laughs> Sharing the it? The president did that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, No, there's f- some fucking wild shit. Can vaginas smoke... Yeah. All right, let's go with that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> I think they can. But they can't smoke, like, for real. They could, like, intake. I love how we're talking about them. Like, they're a separate thing. No, because, yeah. I have you ever, you, have like, you ever be- sat in that perfect position where you could suck air into your butthole? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I, yeah, I do. <laughs> when I have a stomach ache, I got to go, like... Face down, ass up. Yeah. I, I start breathing with my ass, and then I start blowing farts out. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about, dude. Oh, my God. So this episode's can... off to a hot start, dude. <laughs> if you can breathe a fart into your ass, I'm pretty sure. You can smoke a cigar you with can, it. You can take a puff of cigar with your ass. <laughs> In the right position, dude. I can smoke a cigar. In when this you ass. when you nail that position, though, that suck fart position, it's unbelievable. <laughs> it's unbelievable. It's a whirlwind in it's there. A, you you can could feel the air. You could feel the air like hit your fucking chest. Plate. Yeah, your butt just fills up like a balloon. <laughs> I don't know how we got to here. Oh, man. Oh. I, you know what? I used to get it when I would wake up in the morning and like. 
end up in like a de- like a downward dog type position. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sucking air through my ass. Yeah. I'm 100% sucking air through my Yo, butt. Listen, I, I don't mean to... <laughs> I don't mean to get like graphic or no, anything. Do it, but like you said, when you're at the perfect angle, oh. you know what I'm saying? Like a fucking protractor, right? You're at the perfect angle. You can basically breathe with it. You know, like those. It's st- like it comes in and it immediately goes out as a fire. It's like <laughs> <laughs> we have to get off this topic because I'm gonna throw up. You know, like those fucking like. Uh, <laughs> Star Wars, those doors that open like this, like that. All right, before we uh, move forward a little bit, let's get to the sponsors here. Uh, The first one we have, Harry's. Harry's Razors, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Someone's got to keep this beard shaped up, ship shaped and shopped. Yeah. That's not a a word. Um, (laughs) But anyway, (laughs) be smarter with your personal finances. Harry's can save you about $100 a year. It's true. It's true. $100 a year. Um... I've used Harry's for like years now. We've been doing the podcast and we've had Harry's as a sponsor. So they, they send um, care packages uh, to me. They got some nice like shave gels and their razors are very nice. Okay. Uh, and Harry's uh, founders were tired of paying up for razors that were overpriced, overdesigned. All right. So now they have any things. Uh, cartridges are just $2. $2 keep, each. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. It was a 100% quality guarantee also. It's a very high percentage. Do you think that's a high percentage? That's about as high as you can get, I think. That's what I was going to say. You know? You know? Yeah. Uh, but definitely give them a try. I mean, I, I've been using them for so long, like I've been saying, um, and they're they're really good. So if you're looking to save money on razors, which who's not looking to save money? Like, let's be honest here. Wish I had Harry's yesterday. I'll tell you that. <laughs> um, right now, you can get a $13 value trial set that comes with everything you need for a close, comfortable shave, uh, which is a weighted handle, five blade razor with lubricating strip and trimmer blade rich lathering shave gel and a travel blade cover um and you can redeem this trial set at harrys.com slash basement uh just make sure you go to harrys.com slash basement 13 13 dollar trial set all right so uh yeah that's harry's shave your face shave it up because you look ridiculous all right you you could have used harry's um Next, we have SeatGeek. Uh, this is one of my uh, favorite sponsors. They've been uh, helping me go to sports games for the past like three years. SeatGeek is where it's at. SeatGeek is where it's at. This is where I get all my tickets to any sort of show, uh, sporting event, concert, whatever, anything. Anytime I go anywhere, I'm, I'm using SeatGeek for it. You go see Harry Potter? I can go see Harry Potter if I want. All you got to do is get on the app. Be like, boom, Harry Potter, where is it? What date is it? And then it shows you like little pictures of like, that's a good price. That's a bad price. Good deal. Amazing deal. Amazing deal. Uh, here's the other thing, though, is that sometimes these things can get expensive. I wish I could save a little money. Oh, you guys can definitely save some money here. Um, you can get $10 off your first SeatGeek purchase. Uh, just download the SeatGeek app and enter the promo code BASEMENT. Okay, that's $10 off uh, your first purchase with SeatGeek. Um, and the, and the code is basement. Okay. So if you're looking to buy tickets, it's just, it's the most convenient in my opinion. I've used a bunch of apps. This one is my favorite one and I've been using them for, for years. Like you've seen it in videos and oh, yeah. podcasts or whatever. So save some money on those seats, save some money on those seats. Sea geek, baby. You know what I'm saying? There it goes. People were giving you a lot of flack about how you picked up your laptop last week, by the way. how did I pick it up? You're just like, Oh, like how a, like a lion picks up a, <laughs> a cup like yeah. by his fucking... Yeah, what are you going to do? Yeah, what are you going to do? So anyway, drinking beers and... Um, um, no, I was going to say, I would definitely go to the Wendy's tray. Oh, if... <laughs> if there's JBCs in there... Junior Bacon Cheeseburgers? Yo, big JBC guy. J, J, I'm definitely not going to Wendy's. I don't fuck with Wendy's. You're going you to McDonald's fr- over Wendy's? If you had Frosties, I'd be in there. Yo, Wendy's burgers are pretty good. If, it, if nah. Burger King... Was Burger, Burger King, King has there? the Yeah, well, I, I don't assume. think so. Burger King has the best burgers. If Burger King was there, I'm going. But what I saw was McDonald's and Wednesdays, Wednesdays, Wendy's in the pictures. Wendy, Wednesdays hamburgers. Hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> I keep forgetting this guy said that. Did he keep that tweet up? No, I deleted it. Damn. Oh my god. I wish I could. I, was, find I it. wanted to read it. Hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna try. <laughs> Dude, it's the internet. Oh, it is never gone. Trump, Clemson tweet. Dude, oh my god. Got all kind of hamburgers for the guys. 
It said, uh, put some cheese on there, bitch. What do you mean? It's a hamburger. Yo, a hamburger is gross. What? No cheese. Oh yeah, no, I'm not a fan. It's like, what are you? What are you trying to be healthy or some shit? I know. Here it is. Great being with the national champion Clemson Tigers last night. At the you White can't House. read it like that. Do it over. Great being with the national <laughs> championship. <laughs> Great being with the national champion Clemson Tigers last night at the White House. Because of the shutdown, I've served them massive amounts of fast food. I paid <laughs> over a thousand hamburgers, etc. <laughs> Within one hour, it was all gone. Great guys and big eaters. <laughs> Yo, honestly, honestly, that's one of the best tweets of all time. I love how he talked about their moral, like, like who they were as people. <laughs> Great guys, big eaters. Not one birder was left. Not one <laughs> birder was left over. I thought I overbought. I thought uh, I overbought birders. I was wrong. Oh my god, man, that was that's This is one of the funniest things. I think. I think like. <sighs> god, that's a great plug though. Like free plug for like Wendy's and McDonald's and shit though. Is it the plug you want, though? I mean, I can't get over the fact. Like, does anyone... That sounds is like no they one don't... understanding? You went to the White House in a suit, and the president gave you Wendy's, dude. I'd be like, dude. Oh, my God. I just don't understand. It's like, uh, he must have forgot they were coming. I <laughs> saw so, so, oh someone knocked on the door. <laughs> The tigers are here. We have nothing to eat. Go get the birders. Oh, my God. I, oh my I God. paid. Congratulations, I paid. dude. Speaking of paying, I want to bring this up while we're on the thing of money. Because <laughs> I, I almost forgot. Yeah. Netflix raising their price. For what? Their service? Yeah. So it's like... A, it's what like, is it? It's like, like $9? Like a, $9 no, no, no. It's like $11. Okay. Now. And um, they're going up to... I want to say 13. I'm just going to check, but it's 13. Did it happen already? I haven't paid for Netflix ever. I don't have an account. I don't have any account for anything. I get it for free. I get it for free because of my Verizon. They oh, they pay, just like hand they, it they over? They pay for your Netflix. <sighs> their stock went up $21, by the way. Who? Netflix. $354 a share. Weren't we talking about how they never they don't make money? Well, they make money. It's just that... They spend a lot they of money. Spe- yeah. I don't know exactly. I know like uh, Twitter and Instagram aren't like profitable. Right. If I'm not mistaken. Um, because they don't really make money, but they, you know. Yeah. Whatever. They have a um, high value. But um, yeah, Netflix obviously makes a lot of money. They have millions of users, but they spend a lot of money. Didn't yeah. they give like a billion dollars to like Martin Scorsese and like Robert De Niro to be in like a movie or something? Well, that's what I'm saying though is that this is this is why it's going up. Well, yeah, I, honest, it's it's worth it though. What is it? Fourteen, fifteen? The most expensive plan, like if you have the one like where you could have it on Mad TVs and shit. Mm-hmm. Like uh, I think it's like up to like eight devices. I could be wrong. Don't fucking jump down my throat, please. Um, or do you want to? Um, oh. Hey, how far do you think you could deep throw a banana? You think you could get a whole banana down your throat? What are we doing? I just want to know. We're talking on Netflix, and now we're talking. I, about- I know, I know, but I, I got thrown First off of all, by the throat. You know how like that was like a thing on Instagram where girls were just like, "Haha, banana challenge," and they just never heard of it. But no, I yeah, will, it was it was like a I, thing I've for like a little now. bit. It's a thing for a little bit. I just want to say, what a dumb idea, dude! Bananas break like this. Yeah, it's true. You just, you're <coughs> in there, and if you like cough, it's gonna break, and then you're screwed. If you swallow a banana whole and poop it out, will it come out as a banana? No, you fucking moron. <laughs> That's terrible. The only reason I asked is because my dog took that shit. Remember I sent you that picture? Yeah, but that was a rope. All right, so my, so my dog ate a rope. And then a we'll rope get, toy. We'll, we'll and get, he shit a rope toy. <laughs> we'll get back to Netflix in a second. I promise. So Eli ate a rope, apparently. I don't know how he did that. Which was, we measured it. Ten and a half inches long. So here's what happens. He's I, not, like, no exaggeration. Like, I saw it. Yeah. It was ten and a half inches long. We measured it. So... Uh, I let him outside on the terrace to go pee and poop, and he pees, but I can still see that, like, he's, like, looking for poop, like, on the back of his butt. Yeah. So I'm like, 
well, oh, what's going on? Like every once in a while, he'll so eat, get stuck or something. Yeah, or he'll eat hair. Yeah, and it'll get stuck to yeah, his yeah, butt. Yeah. So I was like, oh, it might be stuck to his butt. I put a glove on to take the shit out of his ass. I'm pulling, and I swear to fucking Christ <laughs> that I felt like a fucking magician pulling the bandanas out of his goddamn sleeve. This fucking piece of shit would not stop going. I said, I'm pull- I'm- I think I'm pulling like his body out. His intestines. Yeah, so I'm pulling it out, pulling it out, pulling it out. Ten and a half inches of rope that he ate and swallowed. It's a miracle that he didn't get a blockage. He- and he was fine. And that would re- require surgery most of the time. Yeah. Yeah, he was, he's perfectly fine. I'll tell you what, his intestine and colon cleaned out. Yeah, for All sure, right? for sure. Pristine ace. I could not believe that a dog, and my dog's not big. Dude, I couldn't eat that rope. No. I'm a human he being. He ate a rope, and he shit it out one piece. I didn't want to throw it away. I almost wanted to have it bronzed. That's a little heavy. That's a little much. But yeah, Netflix is going up to $16 a month. 16 Yeah. That's yeah, still worth it. What's the most you would pay for Netflix then? And... Would you cancel other ones? Um, the absolute most I would pay for Netflix, and I don't really like saying this because I think they could hear me, it's probably like 45 50 bucks. Wow. Yeah. 45 50 Dude, think about it. Like Netflix has everything. Bro. Their original content is incredible. The documentaries are great. A lot of people getting murdered. A lot of kids murdering their parents in their sleep. I love those documentaries. And then they have like the old shit. They have The Office. You know what I'm saying? I think they have Friends, if I'm not mistaken. Like they have good stuff. That's probably why a fucking price went up. Fucking Friends. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they just got that, right? Yeah. Or they renewed it. Or yeah. Whatever. For like hundreds of millions of dollars. I mean, people watch it. How, how many users do you think they have? Well, they said that a record, like Bird Box broke some record and it was like 47 million. Jesus. Like accounts. That's just accounts. So that's yeah. not necessarily like eyes. 47 million accounts watched it in like a, w- a week. And or think something. about how many accounts are shared too. That's what I'm saying. You know, yeah. Fuck. So they're making a lot of money, but they're also spending a lot of money on the original content because, it, to my knowledge, they're trying to wean that out for the most part and have only like original content. But their stuff is great. 50 bucks a lot though, dude. Yeah, but think about your cable bill. Yeah, it's like my, if you, my if, cable bill is like one six. Dude, if if Netflix, and that's with everything. If Netflix had a sports package, I wouldn't have anything else. I would only have Netflix. That's it. Like, yeah. why else would I have anything? The only reason why I have cable is for sports. I don't use any of those channels. Like, I'm not sitting here watching like fucking Fixer Upper, yeah. even though that's a great show, Fixer and that Upper. channel is fucking awesome. Yeah, love it. But I can do without it and pay fifty dollars for a Netflix account. Wait, is Fixer Upper the white guy with the Asian wife? No, that's Chip and uh, Chip and Joanne. That's, Chip and Joanne. Wait, it, that what is that? That might be Fixer Upper. A Fixer Upper. That is Fixer Upper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chip and Joanne. They got good. They got a good thing going. They on They got a good there. thing going on. Yeah, she's good looking. She's good looking lady. They got a lot of kids. A lot of kids. He's a good looking guy. Yeah. They fix houses. Fix houses. She's she's crafty. Yeah. Have you watched on Netflix the little Asian lady that teaches you how to like fix clutter in your house? I saw the preview and I was like. I am in love with this little Asian lady. Really? She is fantastic. She taught me so much about how to put away clutter. I'm a clutter bug. I'm a clutter bug. Throw it on me. All right. Lay it on me. So it's, Soft, she, though. Don't give me no, a lot no, no, of information no, no. I'm not going to give you a lot of information. She has a specific way that she folds clothes. and She's an Asian woman? She's an Asian woman. I know. They, they do that. Amazing folders. You ever see the video that went viral where it's like some Asian woman? She takes like a shirt and it's like beep beep and then just like picks it up and does that and it's like perfect yeah i can't fold clothes for the life of me but go ahead no 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 no. but watch the first episode maybe tonight and you'll see how she does it she folds she folds them not this way but this way up yes upward so you could fit more shirts along it's amazing how she does it she also has with clothes when you go through them you appreciate them what? So say you have an article of clothing. Yeah. And you grab that article of clothing. Yeah. And you're like, I, I love this sweater. I love this sweater. You know you want to keep it. Okay. But if you grab a shirt and you don't feel a connection to the shirt, you should get rid of it. You're, cl- you're over cluttering yourself. 
This is starting to get... No, 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 no. It, it makes a lot of sense. It's a little weird, but it makes a lot of sense. Okay. Because it's a really, it really is, though. It's like, how many shirts do you think you own that you're just like, I don't need this? Honestly, I periodically go through all my stuff and like give up, like make bags and like... Yeah, that's, it. What she's, that's what she says you should do. Yeah, I don't pick shirts up like, hmm, I just, they just don't fit me anymore. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> but like there's certain articles of clothing you'll look at and be like, I right, this isn't... Um, yeah, I'll toss those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, like, they will sit in my drawer for at least half a year. Yeah, and she teaches. Yeah, she's awesome. I love that. I fell in love with a woman. Um, I was watching this documentary about. <laughs> I, f- I fell in love with a woman. <laughs> I fell in love with a woman. Uh, I was watching this documentary about uh, the paleo diet. It was called like the Paleo Way or whatever. And she was just this like Russian woman who like lived on a farm, and her hands were gross. And she was like cooking, but I was like, yo, like, you know how I, I told you, like those, when your hands are yeah. gross and you're cooking, you got gross hands. They're like old, it's like veiny. It's like, yo, this is going to be good. Something about it. And I was just like, yeah, I love this woman. Woman's probably got kicked around a little bit in her life. You know what I mean? <laughs> not, not, not physically. I mean, seen my her, life. Yeah. Like seeing her dad, like get yeah. pulled out of his house and beat up in the street for not, you know, paying his debts. Yeah. Yeah. Or like trampled by like a tax collector comes. Yeah. We don't know what's going to happen. Exactly. There's a secret thing in the floorboards. I like that. Very Inglorious Bastards esque. Yes. I was, yes. Yes. That's exactly where I was going. She has like a, a brick stove. It's like made out of bricks. Love that. Is that on Netflix? Yeah. What What's it, what's it called? The Paleo Way? The Paleo Way. I'll have to check it out. Yeah. It was interesting. I've, I've been paleo for a little bit. Yeah. Except for those cookies though. Yeah, I had some Girl Scout cookies. They're, they're, yeah, but yeah, that's that's for the love of the game, though. I've never had Girl Scout cookies before. For anyone who's listening, I've never had them before. So we did a taste test on Santa Gata Studios YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Santa Gata Studios. You guys check that out. Um, spoiler alert: Thin Mints suck my ass. <laughs> Sorry, they do. Yeah. Oh. Not gonna tell you what the number one is. You're gonna have to go look, find that out. But yeah. God, I have so much air in my body right now. It's oh, probably, from, it's probably from the dog, cookies. I'll get some downward dog going right now and start blasting off. No. You know but what I mean? But 50 dollars, that's a little that's 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 too what, much. What would you go? Twenty five. Twenty five for Netflix? Yeah. So if it was thirty thirty dollars you wouldn't do it? No. Yeah, you would. Yeah, but like I feel like <laughs> I have I, I don't mean this in a certain way, but like I could afford it. Yeah, but I still don't think that's a lot of money. It's a bill. Yo, but think about no. it's, it. Could be a lot of money to people. Fifty dollars a month. I understand you can that. Get fucking health insurance. How that. many people afford to pay a cable bill though, and a Wi-Fi bill? Like, if you are poor, you yeah. can't afford those things. For nah, for real, you're right. You're right. So I'm saying, like, if you just supplement your cable with uh, Netflix, not supplement. What am I saying? You mean switch, switch, basically, uh, with with a Netflix account, then you're fine. You don't need to watch TV if you have Netflix. Yeah, yeah. Netflix and Hulu. Because Hulu is basically TV. You can't get rid of Hulu. They got Seinfeld on there. I know. I can't. I, that's the only reason why I go on that. Can you please get Hulu without ads, you fucking maniac? I'm not paying for Hulu. Get another account. Everything on my Apple TV is not mine. Why do you I didn't even buy a, the why? Apple TV. It was a gift. But why do you... <sighs> I have paid for nothing that has entertained me. Okay, I get that. But here's the thing. Why don't you pay a little bit and get the fucking commercials out of there? Well, I'm no better than nobody. Why, why, why you, what, what do you want me to do? It's like that scene in Rocky when he's talking to his son. It's about how many times you can get knocked down and get back up. What am I talking about? Cause I was doing that and that ain't you. <laughs> you better than that. I see it. I was like, is this guy talking this to a person? Yeah, you know how old Sylvester Stallone is right now? 65. 70. No way. Yeah. I guarantee you he can kick the shit out of both of us. Without question, he can kick the shit out of yeah, us. I don't know. I, I kick the shit out oh, of Oh, no. I'm a little old, but I still got a little pack of punch, you yeah. know? It's like, oh, take it easy there, Rocky. Dating one of his daughters has to be like... Yeah. You know, he constantly is like... Uh, uh, yeah, I think he's always like trying to... Hey, what's going on? Come on. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, take it easy, there, Sly. So, come on, let's just go out back. We'll just do a little spot sex. You know? Come on, yeah, he's fine. You know, I was fighting man. Michael B. Jordan, you know, recently with Creed. You take a good punch. Did you see Creed two? No, I didn't see Creed one. Creed was it was good. People talked about it like it was absurd. I thought Southpaw was better. As a Jake I, Gyllenhaal, right? Yo, he crushed that movie. It wasn't like a great movie, but his performance was unreal. And the beginning, tearjerker. Yeah. 
Okay. Here's this one thing I don't understand about that movie. Why kill the hot girl so Earls? Yeah, what'd she get? Ten dollars for that? Yeah, fucking? Jesus. <laughs> Rachel McAdams for forty five seconds. Yeah, it's Rachel McAdams, but she had to leave early. She got sick, so he sent her home and killed her. Yeah. Basically. Spoiler alert. Yeah, if you haven't seen her movie from five years ago. Yeah, she goes down. Uh but it's very <laughs> sad. She she crushes that performance too. She's really good at dying. Yeah. Yeah. Rachel McAdams, you said she was hot, right? When Hell yeah, yeah, she's hot. So you know what I'm saying? She's hot in like every day hair hot. color too. Yeah, yeah. She's every day hot. I don't even know what every flavor of hot she is, but yeah. I don't know like what her real hair color even is. Mean girls, I didn't I didn't, I mean that blonde. She was supposed to look like an idiot, but like Yeah. I didn't like her like that. Didn't like her like that. Me neither. You know. Not at Lindsay all. Lohan, however. Yeah, Lindsay Lohan was doing pretty good those days. Yeah, that was the beginning of the end. Yeah. It, yeah she's got like a new show out, I think. Well, I'm not going to watch that unless it's on Netflix. Yeah. Cha-ching. <laughs> Would you ever... You think you could give up Netflix for like a month? It's tough, dude. I don't know. It's tough. Yeah, it's tough. Like, Apple Music, I could give up. Yeah. Apple Music's nine ninety nine. Rip off or not? I mean, they they all are no. I think so. They're, no, I'm saying they all are that amount. So how can it be a rip off if the market? All right. Do you think? Do you think that those music type of apps are rip offs? Um, not really. Not really. When you consider the fact that like. You can get anything, bro. Like you can listen to any album, right? And like, if you wanted to listen to an album back in the day, you had to pay twelve dollars just to listen to ten songs. Yeah. So like, and have another piece of de- like another device that to, to play it. it. So yeah, it's a little. I guess it's worth it. It's kind of a trade off. It's kind of a trade off, but it's like, all right. So you have nine ninety nine a month, Apple Music or Spotify. Everybody usually has that. Yeah. Right. Uh, Hulu, how much is Hulu? No, I don't no, know. I no don't ads. It. I think it might be seven ninety nine. I think with uh, uh, with ads is seven ninety nine. No ads is like eleven ninety nine, if I'm not mistaken. So that's twenty two dollars. Now you put fifty on there, seventy two dollars. That's ex- that's a lot of shit that you're paying in entertainment monthly. Got to be entertained. <laughs> it's important. Fifty bucks is a lot. Let's you know, set, let's settle on this. Thirty five. You, know, you know it's not fifty bucks. What? The Basement Yard podcast, which is free. Yes. On YouTube, it's free. On Spotify, uh, SoundCloud. Yep. Is there is or is it anywhere else? No. iTunes. Apple Music. It's on Apple, there. Apple Podcast. Well, Apple. Yeah. There's. So it's all free. Yes. So if at any point you feel like you know what. Since I've been getting all this free content, I'm going to help support the show. You can head on over to patreon.com slash basement. You're going to move forward. <laughs> You're going to move right forward from that. Okay. I'm going to tell you what I did this weekend. Do you want to know what I did? No. You already know what I did, but I'm going to tell you. I, I don't s- really know what you're referring to. I know like what you do, but I don't know which part you're talking oh, about. Oh, no, no, no. I went. To, I uh, took my girlfriend to see Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Oh, yeah, that's right. The, that's like a the, play, right? Yeah. I'm not a huge Harry Potter fan. That's where you're wrong. This show was very good. Fire. It was very, very good. Love Harry Potter. You definitely need to go. Yes. Like, this is like, I would say, if you love Harry Potter, you need to see that show. It's that fucking... How long fucking, is it here? It's that fucking good. How long is it going? Dude, it's staying. Forever, yeah. Yeah, it's staying. It's kind of like Wicked. Yeah, it's Which, like... by the way... <laughs> Yeah, but like the actual, they have like special effects and shit. Like, they do a really good fucking job. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, like I said, I'm I'm not. A, I've seen all the Harry Potter movies, but like I'm not like hardcore Harry Potter fan. Yeah, but I was like, you know what? Let me go in with an open mind. Within the first ten minutes, I was like, this fucking show is awesome. Yeah, it was very very good. Nice. Yeah, so it, I think you, that you should definitely go and see that. I mean, yeah, I'll check it out. It was two nights, though. It's a two-nighter. It's a a two-and-a-half-hour show. We did it on Thursday, and then another two-and-a-half hours on Friday. Hold on. Yeah, five hours of Potter. Five hours of Potter? A two-nighter, that's a big commitment here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No plans. You're going for it. 
Wow. You would definitely enjoy it, though. I'm telling I, you. I probably would. I mean, I, I, I like theater. Yeah. It's cool. That should be the next thing you go to, probably. I think I'm going to go some other places, but, you know. No, I mean like a show. <laughs> Wait. Oh, shit. Wait, aren't we going to Sebastian Man Scalco? Yeah. On the 20th. That's in five days. Okay. What does that mean? What what day of the week is that? Saturday or Sunday? Why? Why are you panicking? No, I'm just making sure. Okay, no. All right, we're good. No, I just had to check. For what? Yeah, because it's my parents' 40th anniversary this weekend. Oh, fuck them. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was just making sure like, it wasn't that day. I was like, I don't know. I panicked for a second. Yeah, I know. But, um, She's like, sorry, we can't come. I got tickets. 40 years is a long time, you know. Hell yeah. That's longer. Th- that's 10 years longer than I've been alive. They've been married. Good lord. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. In a world that we live in. What does that mean? I think that's just something you say after like a long laugh. You ever <laughs> Yo, I love when like No, cuz I try to process everything that we say have- on here Hold like on. at once and yeah. then I'm just like this world is fucking crazy. Do you have any like really white uh relatives? Yeah, of course. Uh yo. Um cuz not as white as mine. Not on probably. my not on my side. Like even my Italian side's like not like all right, champ, like, let's go. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But like well, I got, oh, I, I got I, some sports and champs. Yeah, like on my girl's side. Like, She's white. Yeah, like like her family like you get a couple like how's it going? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You get a couple of those, yeah. Yeah. Because uh, I was going to say, because like <laughs> sometimes when I'm talking to like some people from my extended family, it's always just like, <laughs> oh my God. You know? <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The, uh, always, white yeah. people love extending that laugh and then just like, <laughs> oh, I'll, t- I'll, t- I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll That's tell another you. one. The best was that. The best was that. What was that meme of like a white guy comes out like wipes his hands? Oh no! He's like when the white dad comes out of the bathroom, (laughs) and and he's like wiping his hands on his jeans. He's like, "You guys ready to rock and roll?" It's so (laughs) fucking true, dude. It is so fucking true. Yeah, I know. That's one of my favorite memes. You guys ready to rock and roll? So fucking true. God, it's so funny. And the other one was like, white people always have a bag of chips and like get this away from me. (laughs) Take these away from me. Take these away. Get these away from me. I I've can't been, stop I've, eating them. I've been guilty of that. Yeah, 1,000 times. Can I tell you something in confidence? I mean, in confidence of it's hundreds right. of right. thousands no, of people. No, I, I, I trust yeah. them too. They're, they're all... I once ate half a bag of chocolate chips. Bag? Yeah, you know, like the bag, like the little... Like, you know, like when you get like fun size candy on... on Wait, chocolate chips? Chocolate chips. Like kisses? Yeah, no, the little ones that you put on cookies. You ate a half a bag I of chocolate. Ha- I ate a half a bag of chocolate chips once. That's absurd, dude. It was like, like probably like four thousand calories. <laughs> yeah, that might have been the star of the diabetes. I'm just, it's a spitball. Huh? You, you want to know what's weird? Is that day randomly pops into my head from time to time now. I once <laughs> ate half a bag of Nestle's chocolate chip cookies. You know how many fucking chocolate chips are in there? Like <laughs> eight thousand. I was eating handfuls. Of chocolate chips. That's that's insane. That's disgusting. I've done gross things like that, though. Have you ever also. just had a night where you've, like, I can't believe, yo, I've had <laughs> nights. Surprise yourself, like, I can't believe I just did that. I remember once uh, I ordered a large pizza, which is eight slices. Alana had two. I ate six. <laughs> The disgust in your face. Disgusting. I ate six. Like I, I had my initial two, three out the box, like bang, crushed them. Yeah. Dead. Good night. Then, and then I'm just like scavenging like through the night, like eating another one, then eating another one, then eating another one. Then I had the real I look I literally looked in the mirror in the bathroom. I was like, I just ate six slices of pizza. <laughs> yeah. Disgusting. Yeah, man. Yeah. I've done I've done shit like that too. Like when it when it, I don't eat cookies anymore because i stopped having milk i do i used to crush cookies of milk like all the time i had to i didn't have to but like, <laughs> i just like if i had an addiction i ha- guess have you ever crushed a full sleeve of oreos what 
Like, I've literally never eaten less than that. How many sleeves are in an Oreo? Three. There's three. Yeah. And I I've could, eaten whole, like the whole row and then into the second row. Yeah, I could definitely And then do been that. like, I should, I should stop. I don't want to stop. I could, I could definitely keep it, keep it up. On a good day, I could eat probably two full, full racks. <laughs> like two packages? No, no, no. no, oh, no, 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 no. Like, I could eat a package of Oreos in a day. Yeah, I mean, if I was like going for the record, I yeah. could definitely do it. But. Oh my God, you get so sick. I remember after I ate the chocolate chips, like I was a little bit sick. Like I didn't throw up or anything, but I was like, that was disgusting. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty gross. Dude, and also, uh, so you know what? <laughs> This is bad. But you know gummy bears, right? Yeah, of course. Haribo gummy bears or whatever. They make a size that sh- literally I am I really think should be illegal because it's so big. Like a size of a bear or a bag? No, 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 a bag. Yeah. It's so big and it's like, all right, well, like who who is this? Unless this is for like camps. Yeah. Like a sleepaway camp. Like, oh, let's just give them this bag, <laughs> right? Literally, someone got me it. I forgot who it was. It might have been like my sister or something. Got me this giant bag. It was like this and this wide that you would get at Costco. There's maybe 10,000 fucking gummy bears in there. Dude, I swear to God, for like three days straight, it was just on my coffee table. And I was just fucking (laughs) shoving these things in my mouth. It was insane. It was probably equivalent to like smoking a thousand cigarettes. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Like all that gelatin. It was bad. Oh, my God. I can't even imagine what those things are even made out of. It's like teeth or something, like bones and yeah. <laughs> what did Vino say? Bones. <laughs> it's whale bones. Whale bones. <laughs> Soap is made out of whale bones. Whale bones. Yeah. I was like, that's that's got to be wrong, dude. But I've had some disgusting eating days. Pringles. Sure. The whole that whole thing's done easily. If, without question. Easily. I'm gonna need a couple glasses of water to get it down, but I'm trying to think of like if. Pizza's usually the one where it's like... Domino's pizza? Yo, literally, Papa John's pizza? Yo, Papa John's pizza. I used to get two medium Domino's pizzas. Yeah, that's bad. And crush them. Yeah, that's... that's Cinestics. Yeah. Crush oh, those. My don't, don't even get me started on Cinestics. Cheesy bread? Cheesy. Crush that. If if I wasn't on a diet, I probably would call it in right now. I know. I'd call I call in the, the air airdrop. Domino's, 3 o'clock in the morning, 2 o'clock in the morning is like Batman coming to save you. You know, the worst part about Domino's and like those and like Papa John's, like those like shitty pizzas oh, I know. is that you get creative with how you're going to try and kill yourself with these things. It's like, and they get creative because it's like Papa John's is like, oh, you know what separates us? We cover this whole thing in a garlic butter sauce. And not only do we do that, but we also have a side of grease to dip into the thing. So it's like you can clog your arteries at alarming speeds. And not one part of you thinks about that. No. You, all you do is want it. They're like, why does this taste so fucking good? I know. You know? Domino's? Do you get, what kind do you get? Do, what do you, you get, uh, like, the deep, deep dish? Oh, I just pan, get the regular Pan one. crusted or whatever? I just get regular I shit. get regular. Or like, if I can get like a stuffed crust, I'll do that too. Yeah. Thin, the thin crust? Not a fan. Not a fan. Not a fan. Don't like it? No. You're going to go Domino's. You got to go all the way. Yeah. God, I fucking want Domino's so bad. I know. I, I really do and I don't. Like, I don't crave it at all anymore because I'm like, if I eat that, then I'm out of commission for at least a week. Also, though, too, it's like we're, we're kind of blessed. We have a lot of good pizza around us. Yeah. So, like, I, if I'm going to do it, I'd rather waste it on good pizza. Right. You know? But that pizza, man. <sighs> like, yo, during, like, the summer or, like, no, 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 during... Actually, during the winter, like yeah, right now, it's way better in the winter. Or when they have, or like not nah, like September, when you would have football. You're all over the place. When you have, yeah, you have football <laughs> and you'd have uh, hockey. It'd be like, uh, wait, is hockey even around that time? Am I bugging? What's going on? Whatever. But they'd be like, yo, if the Yankees score like That's four like a- runs, then you're gonna get twenty five percent off. I'd be like, well, I'm, I gotta get it now. I was uh, I I bet on the Portland game the other night. And um, if they score over 100 points, you get, like, a free, like, McNuggets. And it's, like, through the McDonald's app. Yeah. It's crazy. I didn't even know McDonald's had an app. I didn't know that either. You know what's the best thing about New York City? McDonald's delivers out here. I haven't had McDonald's in so long. Still fat. Yeah. We had That was the last time we had it. Oh, wow. We, had, we had both had burgers. That's right. Because we didn't want to throw them away. I had a burger that day. Man, it was good. <laughs> it was fantastic. It was Dude, fantastic. yo, you know, you know what I used to do with Domino's? 
So you know how cinnamon sticks obviously they come with that like jizzy like oh, that frosting sugary jizzy <laughs> mess. If you know what I was gonna say something, but I'm not gonna say it. Say but you it. know what I was gonna say. Yeah, I do. If jizz tasted like that, yeah, I'd be all over. I don't. I think about it. Okay. At least think about it. Think about it. Think take about a second. It. Ding. Great song. Great song. But anyway, you would take that and like you'd use it to like eat whatever. But then you just take it and you start dumping it on the pizza. Oh, I've never done that. Oh, you're an idiot then. Is because, that good? Dude, I mean, that stuff is good on anything. Yeah, Literally, it would make dog shit taste good. The shit you dip cheesy bread in is gross. The, the, but it's like so the mari- good. The marinara sauce? Yeah. No, but there's like a, a yellow garlic. Yeah, the garlic butter. It comes with, it literally, they made its own, a roped off VIP section in the Papa John's box for this garlic butter sauce that is probably filled with so poison. So fucking good, dude. It tastes so good. You can tell me that <laughs> so that is Clorox and I would still dip my pizza in it. I'd be like, dude, I don't care. Get out of my way. If there was a pool filled with that cannonball, yes. I'm in that shit. Oof. It's so good. It was amazing. Reminiscing on the day on the days where every once in a while care. every once in a while I'll slip up and have like a disgusting meal. But like even if I get pizza now, it's like whole wheat pizza. Well now now what I'm doing is I'm dieting hard, but I'm also cheat daying hard. You should. Like I diet pretty pretty well now. And then on Sundays I or Saturdays, like whichever day, because now I mean football is on both those days at this yeah. point. But um I just pizza, wings. Well it's only Sunday now. Candy. So just go hard well, yeah. on Sunday. Well, yeah, go hard on Sunday. But like this past weekend, like, dude, I literally ate like five, six pounds of food. Do you think like eating shit? Like, I feel like since I've, I've been eating better, I sleep better. Yeah. Shitty food makes me f- actually like feel like shit. Like it, may, it causes me to like stay up at night. Well, yeah. I mean, it just does bad things. Yeah, everything works probably not as good. No. You know? Definitely not. Definitely when I drink not. a lot of water and I'm like eating healthy, like... Everything, I have energy at the end of the day, whereas I usually wouldn't. Your brain feels amazing, too. Yeah. I never knew that you have to hydrate your brain. What's up? You, like, you, you have to, hi- like, when you hydrate your body, mm-hmm. it's it's for your organs, and it, and obviously, like, your brain is obviously probably the most important organ you have. Sure. It's you up, know? Yeah, it's up there. So, <laughs> it has to be hydrated, which I never knew. Yeah. I never knew that like hydration and your brain are like kind of they're correlated. Well, that's why when you get dehydrated, you get headaches. Yeah. When I'm dehydrated, my skin gets all fucked up too. Not fucked up. You but like, like break out? No, I don't break. That's not what I, I I was. I said the wrong thing. But like when I'm dehydrated, <laughs> and someone like does this, I get old people skin. Like where it was just like you, you become like, like a reptile boy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, if you, like, scratch my arm, my, uh, my that thing shows up beet red. Oh. Like, it gets so, like, sensitive yeah. and, like, to the touch or whatever. Like, you know, my grandma, you could be like, hey, grandma, what's going on? And her fucking, she would have a bruise of my hand <laughs> on her back. I'd be like, yeah, relax. Yeah, they bruise so easily. Yeah, why is that? They wear, like, those super high socks, too. Yeah, wear armor, then, if yeah. that's the case. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Get some armor on this woman, some chain link. Are you afraid to get old? Yeah. Yes and no. I, I'm fully afraid to get old. I'm afraid to get old, but I'm also psyched to just be a baby again because because you go from being a baby where mm-hmm. you could like shit yourself, you could you know say some crazy like accidental racist shit, and it's like a yeah. viral video that everyone <laughs>, laughs at, ha 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 ha, like whatever. No one cares because it's a baby. <laughs> you don't have to wear clothes. You got your dick out. They're like, ah, good, it's a baby. Yeah. Then you grow up and it's like, oh, we got some rules now. You can't do this. And then there's that long period of time of that, and then you eventually get old enough that when you walk outside with no pants on, it's like, ah, oh, this poor guy is. Hey, sir, yeah. come with me. Yeah. And you could like steal stuff, and you'd be like, what? I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. And you, you, start, you could eat like three dinners. Yeah. Say no you forgot. Care. Yeah. You're like, you know, you could do whatever you want. When so, I get old, I'm definitely getting one of those medication things with that. With the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah. yeah. I should probably get one now. Yeah, probably. Yeah. But um, I, I think it's cool like to like have like those little things. What, just to have that? I yeah. used to think it was cool too. Yeah, I think it's just cool to like, oh, you got this cool little calendar of pills. There was two things I always played with when I was younger and one of them was that. Yep. And it was like the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday thing and the other one was the, uh, it was like my mom's hair cur- curlers. Like, in, you remember you would open up Oh, 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 the, the, the rough ones. Yeah. Yeah, I used to try and roll them on my head. Oh, no, I would just, like, take them out and put them back. Like, because they, <laughs> they were, like, pink, 
and then you would open up this glass thing and then there was like a bunch of like uh they would yeah. just be standing up so i just like take them off and take them all off and then put them back on i don't know i used to put them together yeah 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 do that did your mom have that tomato pin cushion pin cushion there was like a pin cushion like that was very famous in like the 90s and like the 2000s it was a tomato oh they would just stick pins in yeah yeah of course your mom had the tomato right yeah yeah those things are fucking awesome too i used to just literally do this yes for hours you know i used to do, i used to do a weird thing crack walnuts all the time i, I used to do that too with I, the, with I the, with the thing. yeah just crack it and just leave it yeah mom's like the fuck you doing so wasteful yeah it's all right. So wasteful. <laughs> now, the other thing. Oh, shit. What, what were you just saying? Uh, Pink oh, cushions. you know the game Moncala? Yes and no. You know the one where you pick up the things and drop them? So here's the thing. I know the game. No idea what the rules are. Same here. But I used to do, like, my uncle had a Moncala set. Yeah. So we used to, like, do that. I used to play with those little gems or whatever. Like marbles. Yeah, little marbles. I did that with my grandma's medicine once. So, like, I was literally, like, doing Moncala with the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Thankfully, my mom caught me and was like, what the fuck are you doing? And I was like, oh, I'm just doing this. And you then, murdered your grandma. Yeah, was, I got close. <laughs> and I would have got away for it, too, if it wasn't for those damn kids. <laughs> <in the show>. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Thank you. I like that. I like that. Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Nah, I wasn't the biggest Scooby-Doo guy. I mean, it's the same show every time. Ray. I wasn't a big Scooby-Doo guy. It, it was the same show every... It was like, how are we going to get out of this? We got out of it. Oh, it's the guy that you least suspect again. Yeah. Oh, it's the guy, the first guy we met. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. I just feel like kids are robbed of good cartoons now. <laughs> I don't know what any of the cartoons are now. I'm I'm even late to the party as far as like people watch like eating, you know like the Disney shows like Victorious and fuck like Ariana Grande was on yeah, that like, and I, then, like, like Justice I Carly or yeah and all like uh, Drake and Josh I never watched an episode of any of these shows I never watched Drake and Josh ever people are like oh my god Drake and Josh I've never watched an episode yeah ever sorry, sorry Josh for listening Follow sorry me. Josh and Drake sorry. I don't fucking know but um yeah. Oh, you know who I found out followed me the other day? Joe Jonas. Joe Jonas? Yeah. That's fire. It's pretty cool. Not as hot as Nick Jonas. Ah, that's the one I wanted. Me too. Yeah. That guy's a smoke. That guy fucks. He's got a good voice. Joe Jonas is cool, though. Yeah, I'll take Joe. I'll take the Jonas Brothers. I'll take a Joe. I'll take Joe. Another Joe in my life? Why not? Well, you know. You know. My- he has, you know he has 7.7 7 million followers, and I think Nick has like 49 million or something. Yeah, it's because Nick's a smoke. I just think, yeah. He made jealous. I still get jealous. All right. Anyway, that's all for this uh, episode of the Basement Yard. Uh, Danny, where can they find you? Um, really? Yeah, I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna. Oh. <laughs> I wanted to talk about that fucking egg. No, no. no. Oh my god, that's that all egg. I was saying about. Oh, okay. If we'll do that. Then we'll cut it. But uh, <laughs> I didn't yeah. know what to do. No, no, we're good. No, but um. Thoughts on the egg? Yeah. I mean, to give a little background story, the most liked picture on Instagram now was like, it blew out Kylie Jenner's picture that had like 18 million and then this one has like 30 million likes on it. Which is like, whatever. Like, I understand. It's cool. I'm not mad about the egg. The thing that I'm upset about is that when you go to the egg picture, there's a bunch of accounts that are like, hey, I'm a piece of toast. Let's like me. Yeah. Or like, blah, blah, blah. it's like, dude, why <laughs> I'm are we a ruining? bagel. Yeah. Why are we ruining this? Like, just like, it's a whatever. Everyone's on board with this thing. I'll tell you, though, I'm proud of that egg. Proud of the egg, too? Because you want to know why? Proud of every single one of those units. Proud of every single one of those units. Chocolate that, fucking daddy. Chocolate fucking daddy. That fucking egg did that so fast. Yeah. That's why the internet is amazing. Is because you want to know something? We all got together and did liked it. that fucking egg. Yeah. We dethroned Jenner. Hell yeah. And we liked that fucking egg. Mm-hmm. And there's nothing they could do about it. Nothing. That was the one thing they couldn't touch. We got him. Bang. Got him. I liked it. I liked it. You have to. Of course. The other thing I didn't like was the Wendy's kid. That was the one kid that pissed me off. What? Like, if you got a certain amount of retweets, you got, like, free nuggets for life. Pissed me off. There's a lot of things that pissed me off. Did he, did he ever get it? Yeah, he got it. He gets fucking free nuggets for life. That son of a bitch. Well, I mean. It's all right. He might develop some sort of... 
you know, you can't eat nuggets every day for the rest of your life. No. That's what I'm trying to say. No. You know? But if you had to, before, one last thing, because we talked about fast food. If you had to eat one fast food thing every day for the rest of your life, but you could only pick one, what would it be? Mine's a, a double Whopper with cheese. I don't know. <clears throat> one thing? Yeah, it could be a Frosty. It doesn't have to be a meat. Meat? <laughs> I'd probably go double cheeseburger. Right, double cheeseburger from Mac Dirt's. Probably Madonna's. Madonna's. Yeah. Mac Dirty's. Mac Dirty's, baby. Mac Dirty's all the way. <laughs> number two. You used to get that number two because it was the cheapest and I was the brokest. That yeah. was fire. That was fire. Four nineteen for the meal. Now that's now it's expensive. Yeah, it's probably like what, four thirty seven? No, nah, dude. The fucking meals at McDonald's are expensive, dude. N- n- no. Yes. How much? Close to ten dollars. Burger King, even more expensive. Yeah. Burger King's like eleven dollars for a meal. Go fucking buy food and cook it for eleven bucks. <laughs> Let's. Be, uh, we'll You're not doing. It. I'm not doing it. Yeah, that's good. this guy saying I'm not. This guy just found out he had gas. <laughs> yeah, just, apparently I didn't have how gas. Long, how long you been living here? Uh, two months, uh, three months. You have not cooked one meal. No, on that stove. I haven't. I have not. He texted me the other day. He goes, yeah, just found out I don't have gas. <laughs> you lived here for three months, and you haven't cooked a thing. That is fucking amazing. Yeah, I know. Yeah, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I have a lot of protein shakes. Hey, listen. If you ever need a hamburger, <laughs> you can just order one. Order. I order a lot of hamburgers. <laughs> so that's why. Okay? I have a lot of hamburgers left over. They're great eaters. Great eaters. Great guys. Anyway, Danny, where can they find you? You can find me at Danny LaPuri on Instagram and on Twitter. Just being a great guy. Great guy. Great guy. Better eater. Papa John's. Uh, you guys can follow me on t- on Twitter and Instagram at Joe Santagato and go f- uh, follow the show at The Basement Yard and our Patreon uh, to support the show. You can head over to patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. And that is all. See you motherfuckers next time. Deplorable. Deplorable. Hamburger.